So just here at Central City Mall in Surrey, excited uh, on my way to go meet with uh, with Gary Maggot, the Saint Lion, mixed martial arts fighter, and uh, we're excited. He's uh, he's on his way, rising to the top of the MMA world, and he had a first round submission victory. And we're gonna go to Boston Pizza and go meet with him right now. This is only here in Surrey 604 Doc. I'm going to go in there going, I'm going to this guy, I need to do I know I need to beat him, I know I need to do whatever I yeah. need to beat him, just like he needs to. Just the precise, strategic, strategic way, just enough to yeah. get me to the next level. I'm not there to bash, like, you know, like, it, I'll, probably, I'll probably have a fight where I have to get to that point, yeah. but as far as I know right now, I, I do what I need to do every day. I know the depression you feel. I know every second you're just paranoid of people, but you know, everyone watches the fight. Nobody wants, doesn't know what to say. Nobody knows what to say in the loser run. Like okay, like for hockey, the goalie. There's there's only a certain number of goalies that can make it because they have got certain reactions. And stuff. In fighting, it's such a open canvas that if you're not good at boxing, you might be very very good at jiu-jitsu and wrestling. Right. And my jiu-jitsu and wrestling might be that much better to get me to the top. Where yes. like you know, if you're weak, if you're weak-minded and you're doing MMA to pick up girls, <laughs> you're not gonna want to sit in that sauna for very long. No. You're like, you're not going to have the discipline. You're not going to have the discipline. you got to believe in something very deep. you got to believe in something that will make you suffer through that. And they're the to make you die. I don't have kids, but I still think about food being taken from my kids' table. I don't have any kids, but I think about it. Yeah. Right? I think about a comfortable life. I'm to get myself food and get my girlfriend here. So I don't have any of those responsibilities right now. But I still think about those things. I still think about what I need to do. Like, giving up 20% of my money. Who knows where that 20% could go? All right. Uh, not being ready for it, not putting every ounce of myself. It's great being known as an MMA fighter, but it's another thing living like one and training like one and being everything you can be and taking that responsibility very seriously. I know a lot of guys here that walk around and be like, I'm an MMA fighter because girls like, oh yeah, fighter. Yeah. It's not, it's not, yeah. it's, it's. And that just goes back to about it being an honest sport. Yeah. Because if you're not honest about it, it's yeah. going to shine through. And yeah, like if you see after my fights, the biggest thing is I go and pick up my opponent. I understand every man trained well. I have the greatest respect in that arena for the guy that came in the cage, not for anybody else I know, for the coaches, for that man. And the thing is, one person has to lose, one person has to win. Like, I honestly feel bad after, like, like especially after this one, um, I really did feel bad because I've been there where I've been undefeated and I've taken my first loss. And I know what it feels like. I know the depression you feel. I know all the people that counted on you. Yeah. And right away, I can message them. Like, Listen, man, get yourself up. Don't make the mistakes I made of sitting around, sulking, getting depressed around it. You said that to him? Yeah, I sent him a message. I sent him a message because I couldn't sleep. My <laughs> girlfriend was like, this is what makes you different. But I'm like, I couldn't sleep. That's I'm fascinating like, to I'm like, hear I that I had to message him. I had to talk to him. I'm like, Listen, man, get yourself up. He's my personal paparazzi. Thank you. Awesome. All right, with the St. Lion, baby, fresh off his victory, Tacoma, Washington. How are you feeling, Gary? Feel good, man. Feel fat. Ready for the next one. Hey, you're enjoying <laughs> your birthday. Too bad we can't get this dessert coming in. I know. Here. What did you order, by the way? Baked cookie. <laughs> with Baked ice cream. cream. <laughs> and what did you have for your main course? Uh, burger. A big burger. <laughs> it's an old. Menchies on the way home. He's <laughs> earned it. He's earned it. He seems to love Menchies. But we're excited about the next one. Here. Absolutely. Gary Maggot, St. Lion, coming soon. Sorry, 604. With the boys, with Beatler, St. Line, Took Joe Hall, it's on, baby. Careful about Pat is really hot. That looks yummy. Sorry. <laughs> that looks yummy. You're going to eat all this, Gary? You have earned it, sir. You've earned this. Well earned. <laughs>